Well, after spending 465 days in detention, a Memphis journalist from El Salvador is headed back to the Bluff City tonight. Manuel Duran lived in Memphis for more than a decade until his arrest by ICE agents last year. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katino Rankin. Now, he was covering an immigration protest the day of his arrest, then spent 15 months behind bars, and he was being moved from one immigration facility to another seeking asylum. But his family, friends, and supporters, they just never gave up. And Local 24 News weekend anchor Annette Pegler is live in the newsroom now with tonight's top story. Annette? Yeah, Katina and Richard, Southern Poverty Law Center attorney Gracie Willis told me over the phone tonight that Duran kept saying it feels like a dream to be finally coming back home. Willis and her team found out ICE gave Duran a bond yesterday and his family posted it this morning. This video shows journalist Manuel Duran as a free man 465 days after Memphis police arrested him April of 2018 while covering a rally protesting immigration policies. ICE agents were waiting for him when he got out of jail. ICE could have released him at any point during the last 15 months on an order of supervision. It's, um, it's great to see this family reunited, um, but it's also a little bittersweet knowing that they didn't need to go through this trauma of being separated for so long. ICE agents took Duran into custody on a pending deportation order after failing to appear for a court hearing in 2007. Over the last 15 months, we've been uh, trying to reopen his case so that he can have the opportunity to seek asylum, which is protection for individuals fleeing their countries of origin um, for for specific reasons. Duran's legal team finally got the case reopened last week. As of today, we have almost 53,000 people inside immigrant detention daily, a record number that we've never seen before. Marquez Benitez is one of Duran's supporters who for months rallied across the United States, raising awareness about his case. So the fact that Manuel is out in his community um, is an example of what community organizing and building um, can, can, can create. Now, Duran's attorney says his client's case is far from over. He will likely next have to appear in court soon in Atlanta because that's the city which issued his removal order back in 2007. Live in the newsroom, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News.